Corey Holbrook on YouTube. I've gotten to the point where trying to assess IBU with hazies is rather futile. I have not found a formula that will accurately account for IBUs in a 165 degree whirlpool. With as silly as this sounds, it's probably a lot easier to just taste the beer and assign a number to it. The name is Corey Holbrook. Brother, you're right. I. I get it. A lot of times it's just better to tell people what the beer tastes like, IBU-wise. Because those IBU numbers, they're, I mean, it's its real, but it's not real. You, you know what I mean? Oh, I, I closed it. <laughs> well, it seals well, even. You can make two 20 IBU beers where one tastes insanely bitter and the other one doesn't taste bitter at all. It depends on where those IBUs come from and the kettle, the calculator you're using, all these different things. What what I will say is this, and this is one little, this is how I started guesstimating. And I felt fancy when I did it, and I might need to do a video on this at some point. But there is a chart that will show you it's a curve of IBU utilization at different temperatures. Now, I don't remember those raw numbers off the top of my head. Part of me wants to say that, and don't don't scream at me if I'm wrong, but the, the overall concept here is correct. At 210, 212 degrees, you can get like 33% utilization. Um, out of uh, out of your hops. We're talking about generating bitterness. And then so what I did was is I just tracked that curve down till I got to like the 170 where, where I typically whirlpool um, the, those hazy beers. The number was about half as much as the other. So that's what I built my estimations off of. And I feel like it was very very much in the range and you you can tweak here and there what, what have you but I, I felt i felt very good that at about 170 degrees now this is on a, 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 a on a commercial kettle that's going to be holding temperature well not something like a five gallon kettle that might be dropping temperature faster so this does help repeatability on on, on the pro side of things you you get it about 50 percent. so so that was where what i did but I, I totally get it when you say hey listen man but I, I don't i don't want to uh i i get saying taste it and see and and see what the ibus are because i think that's that that's one of those ways that we can actually kind of lead people astray i i try to tell people what they're going to be tasting in the glass rather than what the the, the hard numbers say um because it, i ibu gets weird if, if you if you dig into that scott janish book some people are saying you know you can be stripping ibu with dry hopping various processes might lead to different things there's a lot of stuff yeah there's a lot of stuff to it all right everybody thank you so much for watching if you feel as if you got any value out of the video please like and subscribe there are also other videos that you can watch they're gonna maybe be over here or over here appreciate you watching Thank <laughs> you.